Hello my friends and welcome to episode 6 of my Numenorean Rulers series where on Valentine's Day we are looking at the full story of the 6th king of Numenor, Tar Aldarion and his complex relationship with his lover Arendis, while also seeing his voyages and dealings in Middle Earth. It would be amazing to see the story of Tar Aldarion and Arendis in the upcoming Amazon Lord of the Rings TV show. But let's get into it. Tar Aldarion, also known as Nardil in Quenya, was born in the year 700 of the Second Age in the Numenorean realm of Forestar and was from the house of Elros. His father, Tarmanelda, was the fifth king of Numenor. Aldarion had a great loving for the sea, just like his grandfather Vianto being his grandfather from his mother's side. In the early years of his life, he went on many sea voyages, firstly in the year 725 of the Second Age, when he sailed with his grandfather to Middle Earth. They returned in the year 727 of the Second Age back to Numenor, and he stayed with his father for a while who was reluctantly agreeing to let his son go on these voyages as he was in fact the prince of Numenor. But again Eldarion begged and in the years 730 and 735 of the Second Age he went on two more sea voyages. Once he returned Eldarion formed the Guild of Venturers which was based on his ship Iamba. His love of adventuring and the sea would continue for many years. However, his father, the King of Numenor, looked coldly upon his adventures of his son, seeing the potential of a desire for dominion over lands, which could be a foreshadowing for the Numenorians later on in the Second Age. Tensions started to grow between Aldarion and his father. But moving on to Aldarion's adventures to Middle-earth, in the year 882 of the Second Age, Aldarion visited the High King Gilgalad in Linden. Gilgalad requested that Aldarion should sail back to Numenor and hand his father Tarmanelda, the current King of Numenor, a letter which was written by Gilgalad himself. In this letter, it warned the High King of Numenor of a new shadow that had arisen in the east and asked him for aid. When Tarmanaldo received this letter and saw the current situation, he saw that his son was better equipped to handle this new situation and menace. And the fact that Aldarion had good relations with the High King of the Elves, Gilgalad, Tarmanaldo relinquished the scepter of Numenor to his son in the year 883 of the Second Age. However, during all these adventures, Tal Darion was betrothed to Arendis in the year 858 of the Second Age. His father, the king, and his mother, whose name is Almarian, were encouraging Aldarion to marry. In the queen's household, there was one woman who caught the eye Aldarion and his attention, and that was Arendis. Aldarion did fall in love with Arendis, and the two were rejoiced for quite a while. However, even though Aldarion had a love for Arendis, he also had an even bigger love for the sea. He then set sail again, one of many times during their relationship. However, they both married in the year 870 of the Second Age, after Aldarion had gone on yet another voyage. Due to Aldarion's excessive journeys and adventures, Aldarion and Arendis' marriage proved to be unhappy and only resulted in one child, a daughter called Ancalime. But back to the story. Now crowned king, Tal Darion was a visionary and saw the threat of Sauron, who was the shadow in the east referenced by Gilgalad in the letter, and saw the threat Sauron would employ not only on men, but also on the elves as well, which subsequently happened a few centuries later. So, in retaliation to that, he built a vital Numenorean port in Middle-earth at the mouth of the river Guathlo. The name of this port was Vinyolande and parts of it survived into the Third Age and was now known as Londir. 
He also ordered the building of three famous Numenorean ships, Iamba which was the headquarters of the Guild of Venturers, the ship Palaran and finally the biggest ship Hirolonde. However, some of the Druidain in Numenor were against the expansion and colonialization being advocated by Eldarion. Crucially, under his reign began the deforestation of Anedwraith and Menhiriath for the buildings of ports and for the resources of timber. But that is where we're going to be leaving the story for today's video and I said last episode was the turning point for this new Minorian series and we are seeing this happen in full effect as the new Minorians are no longer being limited to Numenor and being quite peaceful but instead beginning their colonialization and we are seeing the beginning of the building of ports in Middle Earth. The Numenorians, as we'll see later on in the series, are famous for the colonialization and the building of ports not only in Middle Earth but also in the south of Middle Earth, for example, Umba and Harad. They were also especially known for the deforestation of land in Middle Earth and especially in places like Menhiriath and Enedwraith, and this all begins under the rule of Tal'Darion. As this is a Valentine's Day special, the story of Aldiron and Arendis is one of the most interesting and established tales in the Second Age. It would be great to see it adapted in the show but it looks unlikely depending on the time frame of the show, so we'll just have to wait and see. Would you like to see the story of Aldiron and Arendis in the upcoming Amazon Lord Rings TV show? Please let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, but until the next video my friends, goodbye.